Christmas is almost here, and yet Germany's elections were back in September. That's how long we've had to wait to find out who's in the new government. At last, Chancellor Angela Merkel announces her cabinet. She keeps this man on as finance minister, Wolfgang Schäuble, the deficit hawk who shaped Germany's response to the Eurozone crisis. And here's a rising star. Ursula von der Leyen becomes Germany's first female defense minister. From the Social Democrat coalition partners, Frank-Walter Steinmeier is the new foreign minister, a position he held from 2005 to 2009. One of the changes that will come in with the new government is the introduction of a national minimum wage of just over about 10 US dollars an hour. Many Germans worry that it's going to make their economy less competitive internationally. But for millions of workers here, it's seen as a positive development. Sina already earns more than the minimum wage, serving coffee and ice cream. But she thinks many others will benefit from it. People won't have to do several jobs to make a living anymore, and they won't need the government to supplement their income. So, yeah, it's good news. What of Germany's foreign relations? This commentator thinks Mrs. Merkel's policies in the Eurozone will not change, at least not yet. She will continue to preach the same sermon, and the others will reluctantly follow her. Nobody can tell what the European elections in May next year will mean. There may be a strong backlash against too much uh, German schoolmastering and the hardships going along with it. The holidays are coming. Berlin's Christmas markets open. Politics, not what most people are thinking about. A new grand coalition suits the German desire for consensus. It brings stability but probably not a bold or radical government. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Berlin.